literally what a cute spot to vlog. It's my last day in my beautiful sublease in Santa Monica. I'm gonna miss it so much. It's a mess right now because I'm literally packing everything back up for um, another move. I'm going back to the East Coast for three weeks for weddings. And uh, actually, I'm going to Texas to film Ivan's wedding. That's top secret, but you guys won't see this until he's literally engaged, so it's fine. <laughs> Did you try? I was like, we're here now. I didn't want- Under your shirt, like- Oh. <laughs> Did you notice this much? When you pulled it out, yeah. I didn't Can you guys with me to switch my laundry over? My situation this past month, it's pretty cute. I'll be honest, it's not the best washer dryer, but it gets the job done. I had to run out and get um, quarters today. I would stay here forever if I could. I applied for an apartment officially yesterday. Obviously the dream is that my videography, my newfound passion for photography takes off and I'm making great money and I can upgrade to a one bedroom soon. But right now I got a studio. I think it's the financially smart decision and I think it is, it, it suits me. It's very cute. It's really not a compromise other than if there's no bedroom. At the end of the day, it's like, I was gonna have to compromise somewhere. And I like the look of everything. I'm paying like almost double what I paid in Virginia Beach for about half the space. And that's LA. Speaking of LA, my last night in Santa Monica, I got sugar fish, which I'm freaking starving. So I'm doing an unboxing. Sponsor me. <gasps> so many people hate on LA. Misery loves company. So many people said to me, Everybody's fake there, blah, blah, blah. You know what, I think you're just, you're hanging out with the wrong people. Come hang out with me and my friends because I have met the most incredible people since moving here. Oh, here's the ponzu sauce and the tuna sashimi. So good. What I have found in LA is that LA is literally what you make it. People aren't fake. People are people. You're gonna find good people everywhere. You're gonna find bad people everywhere. That's just humanity. So you gotta just like look for the good ones. <gasps> so good. I actually came out here without a car, which has been very interesting. I wouldn't recommend it. The coldest day ever, literally. But I had a bit of a situation going on where I didn't really know if I was gonna take this job and I was gonna move or if I was gonna come here, but I ended up coming here. I love it, it just worked out perfect. So I came out without the car and I bought a bike. So I was biking around for like three weeks and I would occasionally rent um, a car to get around, but it wasn't that convenient, it was kind of expensive. So um, I pretty much just bike around Santa Monica. All my work was remote. The hardest part about coming out here was saying goodbye to my niece and nephew, especially because they don't know what's going on. They're too little, they're like one and two. And it was just so emotional leaving them behind. I think that I just have this massive fear of not being a part of their life or not being there for them. I am very determined to achieve my dreams and to pursue videography and photography and really allow myself to have a creative, beautiful life, but I'm also not willing to compromise on being around my family. So I think that I'm just at this place where I'm like, I have to make enough money to to where I could literally fly home and see my niece and nephew, see my parents, see my brother, my sister. Um, and that's like kind of a non-negotiable. And if I can't afford to do that, I mean, obviously I'm gonna give myself some leeway these first few months, but if it's something where I'm only gonna see them once a year, once every two years, that's just not really, something I'm interested in and it probably would mean that I would move back to Virginia but I really do have faith in myself. So my first week in LA was actually um, mostly in West Hollywood. We stayed with Cleo's really good friend and the hills of West Hollywood was beautiful house, like literally insane. And it's so funny because I knew the whole time I was staying there, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a rude awakening when I get to my loft in Santa Monica without a car. We're doing instant coffee. I don't, I gave up coffee for like three weeks and honestly, fuck that. I love coffee and this stuff is like diesel fuel. I 
Everything is okay, everything is okay. It's gonna be a good Tuesday. Bruh. Why, why? Mani and I got invited to a Clippers game, so we went and did that. I've never been to an NBA game before. I've done a WNBA, and it was amazing, and we were pretty close. We weren't courtside by any means, but it was literally so much fun. So impressive. <laughs> Right before Valentine's Day, I put out online that I wanted to do a shoot either with a couple or a girl who just wants to like celebrate herself. And I met Sydney. We went around Venice. No, we went around Santa Monica Pier. It was so fun. She turned out to be just like an amazing person. Somebody I think I'll be friends with here. Good vibes all around and her pictures turned out stunning. She's so cute. Okay, and then Christy did a an event with Bandier in West Hollywood where she taught a heels class. It was for Valentine's Day. It was literally so cute. Christy also had an event of her own for Balturage. She's making such a difference in young girls' lives. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. These little girls literally flew in from different parts of the country and they were like running and jumping into her arms. Like she's such an empowering person and even just being around her, seeing the friendship, the way she supports her friends and the friendship she has, she's really so encouraging and she's the kind of friend that anybody would want. All right, Christy is here. <laughs> Helping me capture content like a queen. Go ham with the vlogging. You're recording. Oh, right this now. is how you vlog. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome hey. to Susie's channel. <laughs> Wait, how cool. <laughs> hey. I mean, okay, hold up. Salvageable. Hold up. You know what? I mean, it's giving. What's it giving? It's giving weird owl. I might just do like a little pin. It's kind of crazy, but honestly, this is very me. Oh my god, you're so fine. Also, say hi to my vlog. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's Phoebe. That's so cute. And then Girl Tay and Boy Tay took me to this place. It's called Basta, and it's in Agora Hills area. It is so so good. It's Italian food. They brought out this dish, olives and three different cheeses, fresh salami, fresh prosciutto, and then I also got like their truffle pasta. Okay, can we talk about Air One? I'm not even the type of person that spends money like that on food. I'm such a girl that's balling on a budget. The chokehold Air One has on me. It's insane. It's actually so bad. The Hailey Bieber smoothie is amazing. I hear the Jay Shetty one is really good for you but it doesn't taste the best. But you know what, shout out Jay Shetty because I've learned so much from him, an icon, a legend, big fan. Ooh, okay, I went to this Celsius event and actually Brittany and I had never met before, which is actually the beautiful thing about the show. She hit me up and was like, hey, you know, my friend couldn't come to this event. It's literally tomorrow. I know it's last minute. I know we don't know each other, but do you want to come with me? I actually think it's such a blessing to have gone on the show and have this shared experience with people because it's kind of, to an extent, it's almost like a bit of networking. I just, it didn't feel like it was gonna be weird or anything, and it wasn't. We had so much fun. We went to this event, it was in Malibu. It was sick. I did not know what to expect. It was literally a beach party with bonfires, and the after party was at, it was called Aviator Nation Dreamland, or maybe just Dreamland. I haven't really done a lot of events like that, so it was just kind of like interesting to be around a, a bunch of other influencers and see people that I admire their work, or I know them from social media, but I don't actually know them. Oh, and then we hung out with Nate, Rodney, and Brandon. They were also at the event. Um, and then we went to the bungalow afterwards, and then we were gonna get street tacos. It was like $18 for one taco. And we said, F that, let's go to the loft and order pizza. Again, it's one of those things where it's really cool to have a shared experience with people because even though I don't really know any of them, they're all friends with Clayton. Clayton has only ever spoken highly of all of those guys. Also whipped out my camera while they were all here at my house. And I just got a flash on my camera. So like most of the pictures turned out awful. I just like sped shot all of them and took a bunch of pictures. Um, but we did get a couple cute ones. I went to the Scream 6 premiere. No, it wasn't the premiere. It was a, a screening. Today I'm going to the Scream night movie premiere. I did my hair and makeup. Look at this beautiful creation. This is the final fit. I can't really fit it all in, but I 
I also can't zip it up, so I'm gonna need someone to zip it before I get there. I'm so afraid it's gonna be freezing in a couple hours and I don't have a jacket. And it was basically like an influencer event. So, I mean, I saw so many people that I knew there that obviously they don't know me, and I didn't even know how I knew a lot of them. I met Laurent. I didn't know how I knew him. As soon as I left there, it clicked with me. I was like, oh my god, he's that guy from TikTok. And that's what's so cool about social media is it can change your life in a positive way. Priya, are you smart? Yes! Name all of the Kardashian sisters. Tamia. Okay. Kamalia. <laughs> Look at us, just spread it us. Having ourselves a night. Yeah. <laughs> That night at the screen premiere, I also ran into Johnny and Eric, who are also from the franchise. Again, it's like shared experience, um, shared community. And then today, I just packed everything up in my storage unit. It was crazy getting out of this apartment. I came here with two suitcases and somehow I had like, I'm not kidding, I had like 13 boxes. Some of them were very small. I was like, how do I accumulate so much stuff? And I got everything in my storage unit. I got my bike over there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is probably gonna be the end of my vlog. It's gone on so long. I think this is technically the first YouTube video I'm actually allowed to make because of my contract with ABC. She's officially free. So I'm gonna be posting on YouTube a lot more. This is a big recap from this past month. Let me know below what you guys think, what you wanna see in my life. And we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching.